I'll briefly talk about what we're up to at the land office as it relates to housing. Uh, but a month after Hurricane Harvey made landfall, Governor tasked us uh, as the first state agency in partnership with FEMA to lead temporary housing in American history, uh, an awesome responsibility that we're still undertaking. That's why I'm wearing my work clothes. We were uh, rebuilding uh, a few homes uh, along the watershed uh, this morning. And our programs really are, are taking off. Uh, in total, we've housed over 10,000 Texans. If you break out all six housing programs that we manage that range from direct repair to placing MHUs, travel trailers. The topic of today really in Congress is the permanent housing solution. That's where we're starting to get more calls and emails. So I, I want to emphasize that we are open 24-7 for your uh, questions, comments, concerns on permanent housing. Congress moved in a historic fashion to appropriate $5 billion. Um, just last Friday, HUD made the announcement that 80% of that capital must go to 16 counties, one of which is Brazoria County, uh, in addition to 11 zip codes further down in South Texas. More to come uh, as it relates to that block grant as we publish our action plan and come out to the community for your feedback on how uh, we should administer this historic block grant, the largest in uh, Texas state history. And then Congress uh, moved last week on $82 billion of disaster recovery funding, and I believe the Colonel might talk a little bit about uh, where uh, some of that is projected to go in terms of core of engineers uh, funding. But as it relates to our agency, we have, you may know, have worked with Governor's Office and the Sharp Commission to highlight your priorities as it relates to infrastructure and being resilient for the next flood or storm. So as we rebuild, let's focus on the future. We want to incorporate your priorities, and, and this is a great opportunity for us to learn more about uh, the watershed so that we can prepare for the next uh, flood event. Um, that's something that I know that Representative Thompson, that Senator Taylor and Representative Paul have been working on for on your behalf uh, where we came last session for funding to modernize our flood control system and I think uh, with uh, the, um, the sympathies that we have now in Austin we'll have a chance to make some progress. So I thank you for your attention, for your consideration and, and being involved in the process. I'll turn it back to you.